So welcome people of God. So I want to share with you what I pray will be a quick word of encouragement. And I just want to like give some verbiage to what some of you could be possibly going through right now. I just want to, you know, oh, help me, Holy Spirit. I want to give verbiage. I want to give language. I want to give light. I want to give light. That's it. To what it is you're experiencing so that it doesn't look feel and seem like it's the same thing it's a familiar thing it's a former thing it's an old thing because it's not because it's not it's a new thing child of God it's a new thing you know the Lord started to minister to me about change right and this is what's so good is that I'm literally sitting in my car like I just came from the store and these birds are like literally flying around my car like oh it's the Holy Spirit and so listen God was talking to me about change and God was talking to me about about growth and God was talking to me about leveling up and this is the thing right when those experiences start to happen when when the shift and the transition and and all of that starts to happen internally it doesn't announce itself as hey this is the new hey this is this is growth hey this is this is transition it doesn't announce itself as such but but so for us right being natural people because it brings up all that old stuff it brings up some some anxiety it brings up some some fear it brings up us overthinking and so it feels like it's the former it feels like warfare it feels like a fight it feels like all that old stuff and that's not what's happening here i'm going to tell you something that the lord spoke to me even as i was you know actually turning on to record this video no longer are we people that can be burdened by pain we cannot be it's not an option for us to be burdened by pain if something painful is showing itself in your life it is an opportunity to birth it is an opportunity to birth if if i don't say anything else significant in this video catch that we are no longer we have issued the decree. We are no longer people that can be burdened by pain. It is an opportunity to birth. It is an opportunity to level up. It is an opportunity to change. It is an opportunity to grow. And the thing again is that those opportunities, right? The, the, the Kairos of God does not announce itself as such. You know, I said it before when, when Pharaoh calls Joseph out of the prison and he puts that option in front of Joseph, right? Joseph could have said, he could have said in that moment, wait, no, I don't know if I'm qualified to lead a nation. Like Joseph, it didn't, it didn't necessarily announce itself like, hey, this is promotion. Be prepared as, as Joseph is going up the stairs. He doesn't know what's getting ready to meet him. And so I want to tell you, right? Oh my God. I just think about these birds like squawking and I just keep hearing flight. Like, I don't know if y'all can hear them, but I'm just thinking about birds and I'm thinking flight, like flight. Oh my gosh. In the name of Jesus. And listen, and the enemy wants to convince you, the enemy wants to convince you, right? That at the very least, this is warfare. At the very least, this is, this is warfare that you have to struggle through. No, this is, this is the new, this is birthing. This is birthing the Lord. Another word that the Lord started to say to me this morning is change like change and this old song a change is gonna come came in my in my remembrance and it is like kind of a melancholy song but the thing about it is that change when you think about the title a change is gonna come right it it puts change in the parameter of movement it says like change is coming right like like change is something that moves and here's the thing right change all by itself change the entity of change moves like like it change moves let me tell you you right now have the opportunity to speak to whatever it is in your life that is changing right i decree and declare we are people that are changing whether it is something that needs to be there whether you need more of it or whether something needs to go right but but right now right change is taking place like change is taking place in the name of jesus and we have an opportunity people of god to to birth this thing all the way out and not feel like we're having to fight with it and not feel burdened by it I'm going to say this final thing and this bless me. Um, when I was in the store just now, 
the Lord was talking to me about the ch the people of the children of Israel, right? And they were n they were people that were familiar with being oppressed, with being burdened, with being forgotten, with being mistreated. But they were not people that were familiar with fighting. You know, as a matter of fact, as they get right towards the Red Sea, God tells Moses, I'm going to take them the long way to avoid warfare because they are not fighting people. They are people that have been mistreated. They are people that have been oppressed. They are people that have been enslaved. They are people that have always been done wrong, but they are not fighting people. And so hence the problem when they get um, to the actual land of Canaan and they now really for real have to fight and they have to experience the giants, right? They are in a place where they're like, okay, this is not as bad as it was, but we're okay right here. Like we're okay right here. We, we, cause they were not fighting people. And this is, is the problem with, with winning a byproduct of winning is the familiarity with fighting. It's the experience of fighting. And if, if we can, we'll avoid the fight. Like we'll, we'll avoid the fight. And that is why change can seem like warfare. That's why transition can seem like warfare because it seems like you're fighting. No, child of God, this is not fighting. This is birthing. This is birthing. And it is up to you to see that thing as such. It is up to you to come completely out of agreement with the fact that this thing is fighting. It is up to you to come out of agreement with, I know that this doesn't have the most pleasant experience. And birthing doesn't. Birthing is not some... For me, it's not some, you know, tranquil candles and all that stuff. It was painful, but it was necessary to bring forth the new. It was necessary to bring forth the new, right? And so I want to challenge you to know, and, and, and again, I want to bring light to, this, to the fact that you are birthing. You are, so go all the way through. Go all the way through this thing. Make it up in your mind. I'm coming out on the other side of this with every single single thing that God has for me. I am coming out on the other side of this thing with every single thing that God has for me. We are not stuck people. We are not, pe I'm talking about, we're not stuck in bondage. We're not stuck in fighting. We're not stuck in waiting. We are people that birth. And guess what? We actually have our promise. We have our promise, our tangible promise, which is what the promised land was from God. We have it. We experience it. We see it. We touch it. We know it. That is our portion in the name of Jesus.